Welcome back, people. We got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. We are now level 44. We're back on iOS. I also do play on PC on Steam. I also play on PS4. We're max level on both accounts. So I plan to get to max level on iOS. So level 44, we unlock this, which I brought this, the Super Vault 7 and 6, 150 durability. That allows us to take seven rods with us fishing. So I brought that. And then uh, now we're at 44,000 cash, but for just over 120,000, I brought this. It's going to be an awesome upgrade because I'm going to earn serious money in one day. 132 pound biggest fish and 485 pound fish overall. Big difference. So we're going to head over here. We're out in Florida in Everglades. And as you can see there, my guys lit up orange on the right with the rod in his hand and the fish. That's where we're fishing. So we spawn in, we spawn in there. I've just walked forward round to here and I'm casting over there to my marker that I set, which is around about 90 foot just there. So the, the other net that we had from the last, from the last video that we did when we was level 42, we had, um, the net was 264 pounds total amount of fish and 44 pound biggest fish. So that's a big difference. I've, pretty much doubled everything <laughs> yeah including the biggest fish yeah that's uh, more, way more than double so that's good means that now i can actually go for bigger fish and that's why i thought i'd come over to here into everglades and catch myself some some of the drum because i haven't i've caught some drum here but i haven't been able to keep it because of course my net when i was in here i was level 18 and there you go, we're hooked in. And yeah, my net wasn't big enough. So because my net wasn't big enough, I wasn't able to keep the fish. Now this rod, of course, we bought this one and we've shown this one. I haven't yet got better, stronger line. The line I'm using is 46 pound. This rod and reel setups at 55 pound. So I could do with some stronger line, but you know what? I'm still catching fish, so I don't mind. I'm pretty sure that is this snook or it looks like it's snook. Let's see. Yeah, it is. And that's the first one that we've caught as snook as well. So that's pretty good. Um, if we push, what's this one? Oh, there you go. So we can just see the fish or well, kind of. But let's go into camera mode because this is the first time of seeing it there like that. Well, that actually looks pretty good. I think I need a bit of a haircut, but other than that, it looks good. Anyway, <laughs> let's press keep. We'll put that into the net. There we go. Oh, yeah. Let me show you real quick that rod setup as well of the spinning rod, just in case, of course, you want to copy. Now, whenever you're fishing or you're ever seeing any videos that I'm making, always try and fish the same spots, the same bait and the same hook. If you do that, you're going to catch as fast as I am. Now, of course, you can just cast any way you like and you are going to catch fish, but you're going to catch fish a lot quicker if you fish the places where I fish because they're hot spots. Now, if you don't know what hotspots are, that is either a place where you're going to catch fish insanely fast or where you're going to catch really big fish. That's what a hotspot is. So I always try and show hotspots for every lake. And of course, I'll always live stream with face camera mic when the new updates come out. I'll let you know about them when new maps come. Yeah, we're live stream face camera mic, always showing you new hotspots, how and where to catch certain fish. Completing all those new missions, and we have completed all normal missions and fish monster missions, and we have a playlist of just Fishing Planet with 400 plus videos. That's absolutely insane. That pretty much tells you how much I play this game. <laughs> Couldn't give you a better reason to hit that subscribe button other than that. And if you are still enjoying Fishing Planet, don't forget to smack that like button and leave your comments below. I do try my best to respond to every comment. So a few things that people have been asking me recently, have I made edits, made the picture quality better on iOS, or have I been editing videos? I have not made one edit at all when making videos on iOS. Now, of course, I do on the PC just because I speed it up. But with the iOS, however long it's taken me to catch a fish, that's how long it's going to take for you guys to catch a fish. I want to try and keep it real time with no edits at all. And of course, the picture quality right now, this is the picture quality of my phone. And it's running very, very smooth. It actually runs smoother than, um, than what it does on... Oh, wow, I saw a bit of movement there. Let's cast up there. Yeah, it actually runs smoother 
on iOS compared to what it does on the PS4. Now on PC, the picture quality is always going to look better depending on what type of PC you have and graphics card and so on. But it, yeah, the PC is always going to look better. PS4 does look okay, but for the iOS, this looks absolutely amazing. Now for anyone again who's interested, I am playing on an Apple iPhone 12 Pro. So if you've got anything better than that, of course, it's just going to look that a little bit more better, I guess. And you can also play this on iPad. It is now available on iPad. I did mention that before, but just in case you're new around here. Yeah, so you can download this game for completely free. It doesn't cost anything, and we're a family-friendly channel as well. So make sure you keep coming back for that content of how and where to catch fish. Because when you know how and where to catch fish... It makes it a lot more enjoyable playing the game. Now, you know, I when I first started playing this game, I wasn't very good at it. And I'm not going to lie, yeah, that's I just was not good. I could not catch fish. I'd sit around for one, two hours in real time waiting for just one fish. And yeah, it was very frustrating. I kind of came away from the game, didn't play it for a bit. And I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to make it work. And I came back on and I tried my hardest and started to figure out that then at that time there was hotspots. Now, I'm talking over six years ago here. <laughs> I've been playing this game for over six years. So, yeah, it's a, it's a learning curve for everybody. But of course, for me, the struggle is always that little bit more real because I have to find that hotspot and then try and share that with you guys so that way it makes your enjoyment of this game, that little bit more fun. And it definitely does make it more fun when you're catching fish faster compared to being a long time. Now, I always like to use bottom rods, as you can see, that are set up there. Of course, there is float rods as well and stuff. But I like to use two bottom rods, or normally I'd use four bottom rods and a spinning rod. And then times like now, when it's a little bit slow on the bait rods... I would pull out my spinning rod or casting rod. In this case, it's a casting rod. I'd pull out my spinning or casting rod, and then I'd mess around with the lure, just casting around different places. And sometimes this is how you can find that hot spot, just by moving around, casting different places in the lake, and just keep on progressing through. Of course, you can use all different types of lures and things like that as well. This one, I'm going to change that small cut bait, and... um. As you can see here, I've purchased more baits. We're going to put on some small minnows because they seem to quite like that. As I said, I would have preferred... Oh, there we go. I would have preferred medium cut bait, but I don't have that. Let me cast that out there. There we go. 92 foot, that did the job. Then let's pull out our casting rod again. So we're going to make another video and we're going to keep on progressing through. I'm not going to buy a DLC on iOS. I've decided I'm not going to. I was thinking about it, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to because I'd rather progress through the game and um, keep making videos of me leveling up. Every time I level up two times, keep on making them videos and keep pushing them out to you guys because... That way, if you're playing the game yourself and you're stuck on a certain lake or you don't know what kind of rod to go for, then videos like this really do make a big difference and it really does help. I definitely want to try different other lures here as well. So I'm going to reel this one in and then I'm going to quickly change over the lure. And of course, as well, remember to always try and fish peak times. Now, we'll show you about that. Let's put on that bullet spinner. So peak times, let's press back. So we press weather. So peak times is where you can see the yellow part. The yellow part is the highest point. This is a point where they're going to eat the most often. And then, of course, in the night time, you can see where it's dark purple at the top. That's peak time. Always try and fish then. Of course, you don't have to. But if you do fish peak times, then that's also going to just increase your chance of catching the fish that little bit quicker. I can't wait until I get to about level level 50. I want to I want to I think it's level 50 for weeping willow. I can't remember. It's been a long time a very long time since I fished there which there's a lot of carp there so yeah, but level 50 by the time I get to that hopefully I then unlock weeping willow so we can go carp crazy, maybe even get a carp rod and um I also want to, 
I definitely want to get some stronger lime for this rod because I've only got 46 pound um, 46 pound line on this rod and of course I can put on if I put on stronger line and then I'm gonna be able to reel in that bigger fish that little bit more easier so I definitely need to try and unlock other line I probably could get stronger line now if I use bait coins but I don't really have many of those and I don't plan to spend at least I hope not to plan to sp <laughs> to spend too much money on iOS or PS4. PS4, I, I always grind it out without premium to max level. Uh, yeah, the premium where I always have it is on PC no matter what. Because I've got to have a lot of cash on there to keep showing you these content videos of buying new rods and reels and all of that good stuff. So it looks like we're having one of those slow days. Now the peak wasn't very good, so I might reel this in and we would quickly change the peak time. Let's have a look, see if we get any interest. Now the bullet spinner, I know I know in here, in Everglaze, I'm pretty sure it is the bullet spinner that the, the tarpon like, but I wanna get some of them, that drum if I can. Maybe even a few more snooker be good. And of course, when you're using the casting rod, you don't have to use real speed one. You can go to real speed one or two. Probably would not recommend real speed three, to be honest. You can still catch fish like that, but just, yeah, not as good. The way I look at it is the slower you're reeling, the more chance, uh, hopefully more chance of the fish seeing your lure because it's in the water that little bit longer or at least that's my theory or way of thinking uh, so we press the day up there it says day we, we press that we can jump forward time or we can jump to the next morning so i'm just going to go jump to the next morning because i'm not really bothered so 1000 cash a day we got 1600 cash there so we just about covered ourselves for that one day now, I'm not too bothered because sometimes I don't mind to lose a little bit of cash to gain extra more cash. Now, the way that works is if you're fishing and it's not you're not catching fish very fast, you can sit there and be patient and wait. But I don't like to do that because time is money. Time is XP on this game. Now, for some people, they're not too much in a rush to level up. Of course, I'm not in a major rush to level up this time, but I do want to level up a little bit quicker than what, what other people are, just so that way they can watch these videos and they are actually useful. Okay, let's have a few casts with a bullet spinner. We've reset our bait rods now, so we'll see if we get any interest in there. And we're early morning, 5 a.m. Every time you jump to the next day, it's always going to cost you money to fix to fish the next day. And of course, sometimes you get a cool down timer and that cool down timer will always be through the daytime. If you don't fish a certain amount of time, it will cost you one bait coin to jump to the next day. That looks so good, the picture quality there. Wow. Look at the water effect. <laughs> that looks awesome. Let's have another one. There we go. We've got max cast there. We've got a bit of interest on one of those rods. So we just swap it over. I always press strike a dozen times when I first pick it up, just, just because <laughs> I've done it where I've pressed reel and because I didn't strike, I have lost the fish. It does that quite a bit on PS4 like that. All right, so if you've got any comments, do leave it in the comments section below. We're now level 44 and I'm gonna keep progressing through. And then when we're level 46, I'll come back with another video and we'll probably be fishing somewhere else and we'll probably buy something else by then. We'll we'll see what's what's there. But yeah, leave your comments below. I try my best to respond to every comment. Let's see what fish we got on though just before we go. This one seems to be fighting quite well. This is exactly why I wanted to come back here because I just wasn't able to keep the drum before. And now I can. I could even, as well as the snook, just over there right in front of me, there's a... Uh, what is that? There's like a little bit sticking out of the water there. Around there, I know there is quite a lot of snook. Now, I've had quite a few snook there. And of course, over that way, casting over that way with that log out of the water just over there.
there is quite a lot of tarpon as well. Again, we've shown separate videos on how and where to catch fish. But yeah, I definitely want some drum. Let's see. Trophy? Uh, nah. Still pretty good cash though. 940 cash, 288 XP. That's not bad. Uh, let's reset that back to there again. So out there where I've got that marker where I'm casting to, there's some lily pads. You can only just about see them. If you zoom in, you can see them a little bit easier. So as you can see there, there's little lily pads there, and then there's our marker. All right, let's pick this rod up. There we go. So yeah, I've got to progress through, try and get better line for this rod as well, with a bit of luck. <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Keep an eye out for the next one coming very soon. we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.